This is Victor Campos, and we're continuing with our HTML5 project. Here's what we've got so far. We've added some CSS styling, background, and text color. And let's see what else we can do. So I'm going to add styling also to my heading 1. So it's the same as how I did it with the body. This is line 9. So I'll add h1 style equals quote end quote, same as before. Background dash color, same as before. This time I'll reverse things. I'll say the background will be brown, semicolon, the next property color, which as we saw, color means text color. And if we see our result, now we've got a background color and a text color. Other things of styling we can do is, I don't like how this text is so close to the edge of the box. So after this text and background color, I'll add padding, colon, and let's say 10px, semicolon. Let's see what that does. So padding gives me this extra bit of space inside of the block of color, 10 at the top, left, and bottom. The right is another matter because the text, uh, this color, background color, extends all the way to the edge of the document. But now I've added some styling. Um, if I wanted to prevent this text, this background color, to go this far, I can control that as well with some CSS. So after padding, I'll add width colon and we'll say 250px, semicolon. Now, the background color doesn't extend all the way to the end. This works, but a better way is instead of using the unit of measurement pixels, which are the dots on the screen across the screen, it's better to use a percent because then that way that will grow and shrink depending on the size of your uh, monitor. So if it's on a laptop or a desktop or a tablet or a mobile device. So I'll say instead with 75%, no space, very important. So now what we get is, if we refresh, the uh, color does not extend all the way to the edge of the screen, and if I grow and shrink my screen, notice that it also grows and shrinks. Very good.